test you. And if they find you, they will test you. If you keep running away from them, they will assume that you know what you're doing. And you can get a ban for that. There is an update on the screen there, setting up the blocks. Joyce very Pumpy yes. from Zambia, that was Joyce, Joyce Pumpy. Pumpy. Yes. Setting up yes. the blocks, very important to make sure that you set it the way you've been doing it in practice and in other competitions. You have to know your stride and how you set your blocks because it's very important to know that. Like it. Sam, interesting. Uh, I think uh, the women's final under 18 long jump has just uh, concluded. The competition has been won by South Africa's uh, Jade Kotea, number one. Then uh, second position has gone to Nigeria's Olu Ochonogo. Number three has gone to Awa Zongo, Zambia's. Lena Mumba comes out number six in this event. Um, what an experience for Lena Mumba from Zambia. She did take on the best. Others uh, Zambians had fallen off the way, but she went all the way. But she has come out sixth in the competition. Well, again, this is a very good experience for uh, our young athletes. You know, knowing that they have a lot of work ahead. But well, again, it was a good experience, a good show, and there's a lot to learn from that. A lot to learn. Okay, 200 meters we go to the 200 meters under 18 semi finals. Zambia enters the Joyce and Pumpy. In the own, we saw Ruth and Tali marching on to the final in the under 20. Coming out uh, a close second. Can uh, Zambia march on into? The final of women's under 18, 200 meters in picture. That's an athlete from Botswana. Watch out for the Nigerian in the middle lane, number five. Pretty good, right? This one in picture. Pretty good. Last night, she's, she's already won a silver medal from uh, the previous, previous day of competition. The, woman, the young lady in picture there. And she's seeing herself on the big screen, Sam. And uh, finding it hard to keep a straight face. Because <laughs> where she's standing actually is another part of uh, Lake Moran Stadium. And she's, uh, they're basically uh, pitch, uh, facing the big screen of uh, Levy Moran Stadium. Alright, so we have uh, Joyce and Pompey picture from Zambia. They are in the picture. That's Joyce and Pompey. Born in 2006. Also. There is a Tanzanian, Pepa, Andrea, Cote d'Ivoire, Ella, Kla, Ange, Setunya, Majama from Botswana, Len 4, Len 5, Nigeria, Santiana, Justina, Len 6, Tawa, Tawana, Tingolo, Haley from Zimbabwe, Len 7, Len 6 rather, then Len 7, Kayaga, Sharon Mora from Kenya, and Gambia's say it's sad too. This time um, will be very good because the Nigerian athlete very exceptional in the hundred meters. Well, first of all, like, let's look at the record for this event. The under 18, 200 meters girls, their record that was set at the first series of this event, which was held in Abidjan in 2019, is standing at 23.88. This was uh, uh, set by Ophili Ferber from Nigeria in Abidjan 2019. So, Tiana Justina Eyakapobian from Nigeria has a chance to break a compatriot record. If she can run that uh, 23.38 or below that, then she'll be the new record holder in the 200 meters under 18. Down the blocks should be event number 58. No four stars. 
Ja, auch die Zambia ist in der Inside Lane 1. But the Nigerian as expected is powering away from the first of the field. Coming into the home run. Look at how she's driving and leaving everybody in a wake. Joseph Fumi from Zambia on the inside lane is out of it. Betwina in the back of the second position as well as Mary Mora from Kenya. But it looks like Gambia will take second position. Nigeria mopping the competition clean. 24.02. Yet, not yet, so the record is still uh, standing, it's not yet been broken. 24.02 so is the winning time. The record lives on another day. Another day. <laughs> <laughs> but some, the difference in quality between the African, the Nigerian athletes and the rest of the field. Well, as you can see, the Nigerian athlete is executing the race perfectly. You can see how he, she's attacking the curve. Look at the arms. Look at the, at the, at, at, at the concentration. Look at the, the, those legs, how they're lifting and pumping. And very confident to get to the finish line. And as you can see, she is really running. Look at the finish. Though it's the heat, she just ran through the line. Nigeria through to the final. It will take some catching up some with that kind of performance. That was a statement made by the Nigerian athletes. Whoever's going to come close to this young lady here will have to bring better than the A game, big time. Remember, sprinting is about the stride, the stride length and the stride frequency. And also that goes the same with the arms. The shoulders not flicking the arms, but also, you know, muscles work together. All right, so that's action meters. That's under, I believe it's under 18. Hit number two semifinals, mm -hmm. event 58, under 18. Shortly, the athletes are already on the track, setting up the blocks and picture. There you can see South Africa in the middle of the picture, yellow green. There's also an athlete running, the athlete sub again, and this is a very fast race. Uh, that's an athlete from uh, Zimbabwe, Stomtro from Zambia. That's a uh, Shalom Sandy. Actually, no, 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 sorry. Um, it's, uh, yes. Again, again, again. <coughs> like this is a, a sprint. Uh, the only way you can achieve a maximum uh, sprint and maximum speed is if you have these spikes. Now again, these spikes have nails underneath that actually can, those nails can go into the rubber to give you very good grip so that you are able to sprint. And remember, when you're running on rubber, rubber pushes you up. When you put your foot there, it pushes you up so that you are able to attain maximum speed. And remember again, the stride length, the leg frequency matters. Uh, Botswana Lane 1, Kelebonye Otela, Cote d'Ivoire, Sylvia Gorogu, Zimbabwe's Shalom, Sandy, Vun, Astrid Chala, Mozambique, Nigeria Faith, of course, watch out for this one, Shane, Vamuelen from South Africa, Nazra, Abdala, Tanzania, and Stacey Jerry, Chang Athletics Club, and Zambia, Lane 8, she'll be riding blind outside town. She just has to mind the rest as they take off with no issues, no four stars this day. But Nigeria's fate, of course, is storming past the competition as they're coming into the home run here. They are making names for the South African on their life, but this is tight between the South African and the Nigerian. They are worlds apart from the rest of the field. It's going to be Nigeria and South Africa matching onto the final. What a final it's going to be between those two Nigerians and South Africa. Stacey Jerry just managing to finish sixth in this event. Not a very good performance from the athletes from Anchang Athletics Club, but there's your winner, Peter Kors of Nigeria. 23.38 is the record in this event at this series. And we have just witnessed a 24.18 by the Nigerian athlete. Thank you. So that implies that the record lives on. The record is still intact. So we might see a change in the final, looking at how uh, the previous Nigerian stormed to that victory. And uh, if you can have a quality competitor like that, Nigerian seeing on the screens, as well as South African, you can only be pushed to your limits. And obviously, 
that will also have a ripple effect on the finishing time. We might see a championship record in the 200 meter men final. Not a very good event for Stacey Jerry of Zambia. The hits were done in the morning sub uh, before we came. We went live. That's uh, Stacey there in black and pink. Out the outside of the picture there, running, she was running blind out uh, of lane eight. She was pretty much out of the competition by the time they were coming out of the paint. Uh, the Nigerian is African, pretty much compressing pretty good. That's been um, the technically sound. You could see how they were powering and managing the strength and the power as well as the speed coming off the paint. Yeah, if you look at how she's executing there in the paint, in the curve, look at how she was. Uh, and that's uh, uh, faith from Nigeria. Very, very powerful on the curve. They are trying to, you know, counter fight the centrifugal figure force that is pulling her but she was able to put the foot right where she's supposed to be going to ensure that she come off the curve and now she is relieved in the home street and will just sprint away to a main winner in this semi-final hit number two under 18 200 meters hit number three 200 meters under 18 final There's some pretty good races in this one molly banda from chile Labombe. Zambia lane one, Malawi have Amanda Kondowe in lane two. They'll be speaking chair on these two. Yes. Then uh, Botswana, sa uh, same Mohusiwa, lane three, lane four, Kenya's Jacqueline Nguyo, Gambia, lane five, Maria Makamara, Zimbabwe, Nyasha Datawa, Namibia, Dimeke, Erash in lane seven, does not start. Mozambique, Dolores, Mariana, Caravela does not start. Also, Amanda Kondo does not start from Malawi. There is the athlete from Gambia in your picture. She's running from lane five. Let's see what she brings to the table. Ken Modi Panda finished second. Finished second in the heat in the morning exam. The athlete from China one week. And also part of Zambia schools. She's in lane one. If you can see that uh, uh, Modi Panda on the right of your picture. Look at the Gambians coming past the competition as they're coming to the home run. It's going to be a Gambian who's going to take second position. Looks like a Modi Panda from Zambia is pretty much out of it. Kenya is fighting for second position. Who's going to take second position? It's going to be close on the finish line. It does definitely is close as Kenya is pipped to the finish. She might just go through uh, on the best possible time post state. That athlete from Gambia in picture who has taken it, Maria Makamara. There she is, smiling all the way to the final. She will have two Nigerian problems in the final. Some of this young lady, then uh, of course, uh, Kenya being pipped to the line by an athlete from uh, Botswana. Uh, uh, same. Won't see what. What a race this one was. As you can see, they are like, look at the, the Gambian uh, 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 athlete Mariama uh, coming out of the cave there, and she means business here, as you can see, coming out. And she's normally when you come out of the cave, it's like you get into this relief mode because now you have no forces acting against you. And there, after you can see, she is just pumping, pumping, and knowing that she knows she's away ahead in front and she relaxes. There you can see the second phase, the second athlete they are coming in from Zimbabwe. And the, 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 the three uh, have gone through to the final. But number three, what will determine is the time. Yes, I uh, want to see what uh, time these uh, athletes posted to see what was faster of the three hits we have witnessed so far. So, under 18, Zambia does not match through to the final. So it's only at under 20 where Ruth Mutali has powered through to the final over 200 meters. Only one sole representative. Sam, 